Welcome back to Paying It Forward. Today, we're venturing in the world of AI, specifically Bing Chat. Have you ever found yourself buried under loads of documents, really just hoping to get a clearer essence of what all of that information is about? Or perhaps you've been staring at rows and rows of data in Excel, wondering if there was just an easier way to get some of the key insights from that file. This week, I found Bing Chat to be an amazing tool to help to analyze and withdraw some of those insights that previously I didn't have. It's like having a personal assistant provide you key highlights of a long and boring call, or even who the key characters were in that story that you just didn't get time to read. As always, when we talk about using AI tools like Bing Chat, it's important to use them responsibly and also make sure that you don't just take the output as the final product. While it's fantastic at jumpstarting the process, always take a moment to review its work. Think of it as a draft to get you started and not the final masterpiece. Ready to turbocharge your productivity? Let's jump straight in. Hi there friends, another video this week, a little bit shorter than usual, but something that I came across this week that I thought was particularly exciting is using ChatGPT on top of your own data. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. If you have a Microsoft 365 account, once you're in here, the important thing to do is to select a document that you would have open. I have this story here about the mystery of the Hawthorne house. Um, and without actually having to do any reading of the document, I can actually open Bing at the top right here of the browser. And then as long as I basically say, based on this document, then you will be able to analyze the content of what you have open. So let's give it a go. So what I've done is said, based on the document, who are the main characters in the story? As soon as you see it says searching your page for information, you know you're onto a winner. So there you can see the three key characters in the story that are mentioned um, with a little bit of background detail about them as well. Pretty cool. Let's find out what happens in the story. So I'm asking for a short paragraph summary of the story. So there you can see we have a summary of the story as well. One particular example of how I've used this in the past week at work is that I recorded a Teams meeting and after the recording I was able to download the transcript file. So using that transcript file I could then analyse the transcript to see who was saying what in the conversation and to capture key highlights and points. So again, in Word in particular, when you have data that you want to analyse, this way of using Bing on top of your data is pretty amazing, so really exciting. But it doesn't just work in Word, it works in other Office-based um, applications as well. Let's open up Excel. You can see here that I have the financial results for this company, and I want to analyze those. What I'm gonna do is refresh the chat so that Bing doesn't get confused. So now I'm gonna ask some questions of this information. So what I've asked Bing is based on the information in this document, what are some of the key highlights of financial performance of this company and are they a good company to invest in? So again, I get a great analysis of the document based on the numbers that are shown. I don't need to use my own brain to do that, which is uh, always a good thing. Um, and it shows me some uh, key highlights about the data of the company. I'm going to ask one more question. So I asked the question whether there was any risks about the company that would concern Bing. Um, and Bing came back and gave some uh, insights as well. Pretty cool stuff, don't you think? A quick summary of what we've learned today. Bing Chat, ChatGPT are powerful tools that you can use for analyzing information and data, as well as generating text as well. One of the advantages of using Bing Chat in the browser is that you can analyze documents that you would use in Microsoft 365 online. This allows you to create summaries of transcripts from meetings, reviews of documents, or analysis of Excels. You could even use PowerPoints as well, which we didn't do in the demo today, but um, I'm looking forward to hearing about some of the cool stuff that you'll be able to do with this. And I continue to be amazed by all of the AI enhancements that are available to us to use and looking forward to what comes in the months and years ahead. Thank you for joining me today on Paying It Forward. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, 
like and share with others. Remember, knowledge grows when shared. So keep learning, keep growing and keep paying it forwards.